Hello! In today's video, I will show you how to filter very thick mesh. Filtration can be done before or after fermentation. We will filter the potato mesh we have recently made. If you have not seen this movie yet, I invite you to look at the link you will find in the description below. As we can see, this mesh is very thick and we need to filter it before distillation. You can buy special filter bags, but you can also do it cheaper and faster. We take a cotton kitchen cloth and sew it so it looks like a cone. The cloth must be new and should only be used for filtration, otherwise unwanted aromas may get into the mesh. Transfer the content of the fermenter in batches to the filter cone and gradually turn it until you recover all the liquid. We repeat it until our mash is filtrated. We do it very carefully and we are not in a hurry because the very tight cone begins to squirt everywhere. When the whole mesh has been filtrated, it should be clarified, because it contains the yeast which during distillation will bring unwanted aromas to the resulting alcohol. We can do this in several ways. The simplest and also the cheapest way is a gravitational clarification, but it requires the most time. It consists in the fact that the filter mesh is closed in the fermenter with the fermentation tube installed and put back in the cool room for one to two weeks. After this time, the remaining dead yeast and other solid elements will settle to the bottom of the fermenter and we will be able to remove the clarified mesh with the hose. The second, much faster method is the use of TurboClar instant clarifying agents. This is one of the fastest and most convenient methods of clarifying mesh. It is also ideal for clarifying sugar wash. The sugar wash from cloudy to quite transparent can be clarified in about 24 hours. Today we will use a TurboClar from Alcotec company. It is a two component agent. Before adding component A, mix everything to degas. Then add the contents of sachet A and mix intensively for several minutes. After 2 hours, add the contents of sachet B and mix again. The clarification process will take about 24 hours. After this time, we merge the mesh over the sediment and we can distill it. Instructions on how to do a distillation on an alembic or a pot steel are also available on my channel. Links can be found in the description below the video. If you like the movie, leave the thumbs up and a comment. I also invite you to subscribe to the channel if you do not want to miss my future videos.